Hey there everybody and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to do a tried and true technique and that is the right on stroke effect for Adobe After Effects. So in this case we're going to need a text layer. This could be a rasterized text layer. It could be a text layer from your type tool. It's really up to you. It's a really easy effect. So we're going to select the layer that we want to write on and we're going to go to effects, generate, and down to the stroke panel. And this is based off of the use of masks. So when we use this stroke effect, you're gonna notice that we have different paths and different masks, but right now we haven't drawn a mask just yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up to our pen tool, and I want you to draw the mask in the order of which you're going to think of this being written on the page. So again, I'm gonna to try to keep this as close as possible when it comes to Again, getting in uh, the center here, there is some room obviously for adjustment a little later, so don't fret. So for instance, we'll mess up on purpose and you can see we can kind of change this or we can hold our Alt key to kind of create more linear movements, but you're gonna basically go throughout and just add a path around. And don't be afraid if there is a moment where like this where it looks to be like it's going to repeat itself, we can always get rid of that too. So we'll add that up, perfect. And then we will click on here and continue to draw our path. So there we go, perfect. And we'll draw it back this way. And if you lose your point, don't fret. Just kind of click in and draw. Okay, so that first mask path is done. Now you'll see that mask one is contained underneath there. So I'm gonna set the path to mask one, and then we're gonna change the brush size. Now, in this particular case, I want to change my color to something other than white, and you'll see why in a second. So we'll pick something like red, which will give us a red line where our mask path is. The brush size will basically say anything that's encompassed within this brush size this is how you're gonna to want to kind of animate this out. So you can see if I pull this up all the way, it covers everything, but there's a problem there. So if I go to the reveal image and I play with my start and end, watch when I pull the start out. It looks really good until, ooh, it's a big hot mess right there. So how do I get that to look better? Well, let's go ahead and redraw our mask. So I'm gonna highlight that mask and hit delete and we're going to turn this back to original image, and we're gonna draw multiple masks. So again, this is where a lot of people don't realize the power of this tool. You can actually go through and draw as many masks as you need to make this look exactly the shape that you want. So I'm gonna start by just drawing a mask here. That looks really good. And then instead of continuing that mask, I'm gonna hit the B key and click away. I'm gonna get my tool again and draw a new mask right here. And then hit the B key, click away, hit the G key to get my pen tool. And I'm gonna actually get into this R. There we go. B key to click away, G T to grab it again. And as you see, again, this starts to become a little more organic. And now we have four masks just with those couple letters. So how do I get them all to play? Well, I'm gonna hit the all mask button. And now if I shrink this down, and I wanna again just cover any white text, I'm gonna go ahead and just move some of these elements just to cover, just to make sure everything is, is being kind of covered and revealed. So again, if we have like an area like this, that overlaps in an area like down here in which we wanna grab and stretch down. You can see you have a little more control over it. And you wanna use your move tool. I was on my pen tool there. You can see that can get a little uh, funky, but overall we can get this to be pretty exact. So it takes some time, but it's a really, really cool method when it's done. So let me pull that down. All right, so now that I have this, I make sure I select stroke sequentially and now I'm gonna turn this to reveal original image. 
So if I reveal the original image, what that's going to do is take away that red line, but when I use my start and end keys, it's now going to sequentially draw that out. So if I set a keyframe for start, move up a few frames, and make that 100%, hit U on my keyboard so you can see those keyframes, click away, it's going to draw those out rather quickly. So now I have a couple areas in which I can still tweak and I can go back in and maybe just move that a little bit to this side, this a little bit to that side. Again, super, super forgiving stuff. Just take some tweaks. You can even keyframe those if you wanna play with the brush size in certain areas, but you can see when it's full speed, it's pretty nice. So again, that is the basics of the stroke and the stroke technique is something you'll use in logo design, graphic design, you name it. And it's a great tool for your arsenal. Thanks everybody and I'll see you in the next lesson.